Good morning, my friends. My name is Tirtan Lama Jigme Gyatso Rime Rinpoche. You can just call me Lama Jigme. I am the non-sectarian Buddhist and Taoist, monk, yogi, healer, meditation teacher, and tantrika. This is the fifth video in the Tirtan training series. The last two videos we discussed how to do the invocation both physically, verbally, and intellectually. Let's explore that. When we invoke, are we invoking as a fundamentalist or as a liberal? That's an important question. I know a lot about fundamentalists. I used to be one for many years. And every fun when I was a fundamentalist, and every fundamentalist I've encountered, every sincere, enthusiastic fundamentalist, is rooted in fear. They're prone to perfectionism. That gives birth to intolerance, rigidity, and aggression. The quest for certitude leads to fundamentalism. And what is it that makes us crave certitude? Fear. The liberal path is more about awareness. We are aware of our fears. And we try to deal with them rationally in a very relaxed way. With the exception of you know a bear chasing us that's a very real fear and being relaxed will not help in that circumstance but most of the time uh, we have to, it's best to take a relaxed view towards our fears and bring them into the path of buddha's teachings a Fundamentalist craves certitude, whereas um, a liberal craves effectiveness. And that which is most beneficial on the path of wisdom, peace, and love, and joy. And sometimes, ironically, making friends with our fears, making friends with our pains, be they physical or emotional, is much more conducive to peace then metaphorically putting our hands over our ears and going, la, 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 there is no fear, there is no pain. Buddha did not say, I'm God. Buddha did not say, I'm the way, the truth, or the light. Buddha didn't say that. Buddha didn't speak much about gods at all, except as a figure of speech, or as a reference to common culture. And that's a big deal. Buddha did not say there is a God or that there isn't a God. He was a silence on the subject. And that's important. There are many Christian fundamentalists and Jewish fundamentalists and Islamic fundamentalists. There are many Hindu fundamentalists, Taoist fundamentalists, Sikh fundamentalists, uh, Jain fundamentalists, and yes, Buddhist fundamentalists. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll find Wiccan fundamentalists and shamanistic fundamentalists. Fundamentalism is not, is not unique to spirituality. Whenever you have people who are enthusiastic about any endeavor, the majority tend to be a fundamentalist, the minority tend to be liberal. And the same is true with atheism. Have you ever met a Christian fundamentalist or an atheist who feels that you are stupid for not believing that the way they do? That type of intolerance is the earmark of the fundamentalist. I really respect many of the discourses provided us from through Richard, uh, I think it's Dawkins. You can find them on YouTube. And one of them he said that if he had to rate a scale of certainty from one to seven, and one was being absolutely certain that God exists, and seven was absolutely certain that God does not exist, he would have to write himself as a six. And the reason for that is intellectual honesty. There is no logical way to disprove a negative assertion. And so someone who possesses intellectual integrity will say, I don't know anything, I can know nothing with perfect certainty. 
and I can be comfortable with that. There's a lot of wisdom in that. I've said all that to say this. I've, I've dialogued before with Buddha. I've dialogued before with Green Tata. I've dialogued before with Vajrayugani. I've dialogued before with Manjushri. I've dialogued before with Avalokiteshvara or Chenra Zig and many others. I've dialogued with various and sundry Dharmapalas. Um, I've dialogued with the Tao, also known as Mother Tao. I've dialogued with Christ. Now, is that conceivably just me being self-deluded? Yes, it is completely conceivable. Have I ever dialogued as a fundamentalist? Yes, I have. Have I dialogued as a liberal? That's what I do now. My journey on the path of the four levels of being a Teraton, of being led powerfully, has increased the more I've let go of everything, including the tenets of the spiritual path I'm on, the tenets of science, the tenets of medicine, and just explore the possibility. This is a great big universe, and we have little tiny minds, and it's conceivable that our assumptions could be less than 100% accurate. What I found is the more enthusiastic I am to let go and explore the possibility of, of questioning every assumption. The more effectively that I am led on the path of being a Teraton and doing what I like to call divine dialoguing. And so am I saying you have to be an atheist? No. Am I saying you have to be a fundamentalist? No. I'm saying if you want to be if you really want the most wisdom and peace and love and joy, choose to be resilient and flexible and playful. Choose to be a liberal with everything, even with gravity. As a sci-fi geek, I remember the episode of Star Trek The Next Generation when Q was, forced, was punished and forced to be a human. And... The crew of the Enterprise D were experiencing a, a dilemma, and the um, accused said, "Well, why not just change the gravitational constants of the universe?" And of course, you know, the Q are much different than humans; they can do such things. Um, but it's a wonderful illustration that that which we ex Experience as constants might not always be constants, and we must we cannot force things to be constant. We can choose if we want to lament that, or we can play with that. And that's what I recommend for you. Um, that concludes today's lesson. I wish to remind you that if you enjoyed this, you're welcome to subscribe. There's a little red button below the video that says subscribe, and after you do. To the right, there'll be a little gear. If you click that, it opens a box and you can check the option to receive email notifications the next time I upload a video. The Saturday morning series of meditation classes begins the 18th. If you live in Southern California, you're welcome to attend in person. If not, you can attend over a live webinar. For more details, check out the links in the doodly-doo. And of course, help yourself to the free download for the translation of Buddha's Satipatthana or Maha Satipatthana Plus, which also includes guided meditations. You'll re you, there, you could really get a lot out of that. Thank you for your time and kind attention. May you and yours be healthy and happy. I just got to figure out how to turn this thing off.